What's up YouTube? Capital G here. Looks like we have information on Legendary Collection 3. Despite the fact that, I mean, this set was just an hour tell. I think I look in my my weekly videos and it's in there. Like, I think I just talked about this this week. But uh, yeah, Legendary Collection 3 is, I mean, pretty much has a semi-spoiler at this point. Not a full spoiler, but we have a makeup of, we're starting to know, you know, what's going to make up the set and so on and so forth. With 306 cards, obviously it's going to take a while for us to get everything, but despite the fact that it's almost three months away, I mean, we're basically getting full information on this. Um, the biggest, I guess, would have to be uh, they're going to actually print the seal of the Orikakos um, really, really late. Uh, that was an original Yu-Gi-Oh card uh, from the show, but... um. Definitely something that's been overdue and anticipated through uh, by fans for like forever. I mean, since they saw the card used in the uh, the anime and, and the manga and stuff like that. I mean, Robbie Cole is gonna be like mad as fuck now that he'll have to actually play a real seal of the Orikakos deck and get his ass whooped by you know not made up effects. Um, each set is going to have the seal of the Orikakos. It's ultra rare. You're gonna get an ultra rare five headed dragon, ultra rare guard Necrofear. Ultra Rare Guardian Iatos, uh, you're going to get a Karibo token, Ultra Rare Gores token, and um, it looks like that's that's pretty cool because, I mean, now they're having some some real tokens that are going to be uh, Ultra Rare, that's going to look really nice. Um, what else is going to be in here? They're going to have Secret Rare versions of Mirror Force, Solemn Judgment, Seven Tools of the Bandit, MST, Book of Moon, Dark Hole, and Black Hole in the Heaven. So for anybody who had the, uh, the Ultra Rare versions of... Um, Dark Hole and Book of Moon and paid like $60, $50 for them, uh, you're going to be pretty tight <laughs> because these cards probably are going to cost like $8 maybe. I mean, me personally, I don't like secret rares. I always prefer ultra rares to secrets because I think they look so much cleaner, but that is a, that's kind of like a smack in the face for anybody who went out and got, you know, like the ultra rare Book of Moon or who got the ghost rare MSTs like, oh, secret MST. But again, I, I like to just, the, the plain old ultra rares. Um, they're going to be printing Secret Rare, uh, Mystic Tomato, Giant Rat, UFO Turtle, Mother Grizzly, Shining Angel, and Flying uh, Kamikari, number one. Oh, also Pyramid Turtle. So I guess just all the really good cards from uh, Magic Ruler. Well, Pyramid Turtle was from Dark Crisis, I believe. But all those really good recruiters from Magic Ruler, the ones that basically have seen play since forever. Uh, yeah, they're reprinting all of those Ultra. Uh, they're going to be uh, more foil versions of other cards. They don't specify the foil, but Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, Bottomless Trap Hole, Upstart Goblin, Chaos Sorcerer, Dry Down, Into the Grave, Reckless Greed, and Regeki Break. A lot of those are already foiled in a multitude of different uh, rarities, but for Drag Down, Reckless Greed, and Regeki Break, definitely good. Regeki Break, starting to see a rise in play. Reckless Greed and Drag Down, obviously, that's like saying, bling out your Dark Worlds, kids. Um, they're going to make more reprints. Uh, we're going to see more commons. Of cards like Chain Disappearance, Gold Sarcophagus, Solemn Warning, a common Solemn Warning. God, that card's gonna be like a fucking penny now. Now you can just wipe your ass with Solemn Warnings, me. Remember when Solemn Warning was $100 per card? Now you can just wipe your ass with them. And Soul Taker. Clearly they figured out people were playing Soul Taker. And I forget which starter deck or where Soul Taker was common, but I mean, now it's gonna be like even easier to get. And let's see, uh, they're going to also be reprinting um, Ultra Rare Mirror Force, Ultra Rare Mirror Force, Ultra Rare Morphing Jar, and Ultra Rare Royal Decree. Um, that's pretty cool. I mean, they're both in gold. I don't, that's, you know, it's just okay. And um, they're going to have a secret Dark Magician Girl. Okay, this, this I like. As random as this is and as uncompetitive as this card is, Dark Magician Girl from Magician Force it's still like $25 on eBay. I randomly wanted one because it's one of the best looking arts ever. I, I really wish that she would have been a broken card. Like I wish she and Breaker would have had different effects like so that her amazing artwork could match her like amazing effect. But uh, yeah, that card is still like fucking $25. So hopefully it's the same exact one with just a close up picture of her. Not the one where she's like holding her staff and stuff and like trying to fly through the air looking retarded and shit. Because I actually would want a Dark Magician Girl. You know what I mean? Like the Ultra Rare one. I want a Magician Force one, but I'm not paying $25 for a card that is unsummonable. Like, maybe they should make... I think they have a Dark Magician Girl XC coming out, but it's not broken. They need to make a broken version of Dark Magician Girl. You need, you can't have that amazing art and make the card suck. Like, make that shit broke. I don't care. 
I've never opposed broken cards. Fuck it. <laughs> so, anyways, that's pretty much all the news that's coming from um, the set. If anything else comes up, then I'll obviously tell you guys about it. Click an ad. Thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.